now I'm ready to just about ready to uh, put this thing back together making sure everything's clean and everything's gonna fit right you'll notice I put the uh, paint line back on here again on my seal so that it's going to line up right with where that oil way is. There's uh, a gap wherever you find these feet. You see you can stick this this thing in there so there is a gap behind here. The spacer that was in here I ground that down till it was no bigger around than the, than the OD of this inner race which by the way the old bearing looks fine I mean there's no spalling on it or any evidence of any skidding of the balls or anything like that it's all nice and nice and clean and smooth in there I'm sure it was running just fine but I gotta put new bearings in because I can't take a chance of having this plastic chunks fall out like that uh, that's not good uh, the the balls they they were nice and clean, no, no skidding or chips in any of the balls or anything. So I'm sure it was, was working fine. Uh, I cleaned everything with acetone. Uh, got my marks on my seals. Uh, I did tell you that I was going to make a drain on this top piece here. I think you can see. Let's see if I can put this here. Yeah, there. There you see it. There's a hole, a hole down in here. Yeah, that's one of my, one of my drain holes. Another one down in there to drain water out of this area, since this is on the top of my engine. And uh, I should probably widen this out a little bit. And being that's the the top of the engine it collects water on there and I thought I should have a way to drain that you have to be very careful doing that if you're gonna try that modification because some places you can't drill I just did it with a hand drill you can't put any drain on this side here because of the rotary valve area here you've got no no place to drain it to but on the opposite side you can you can put something down in there so uh, that's about all I can do for draining that and I will make sure that I lubricate up the, the screws real good before I put them back in there so uh, I have the thing sitting on a couple of four by fours and you know make sure everything's turning nice and smooth and free and the seals are in there right and uh, so now it's a matter of I'll use uh, probably Yama Bond. I like that better than the orange, uh, uh, what do they call it, RTV sealant or something. They got special stuff the motorcycle guys use for putting between case halves like that. It'll squeeze down real thin, you know, and uh, seal this because there's no gasket that goes in this part. Uh, anyways, uh, I think it's uh, I think it's ready to put back together. So. That's about it. That, I can't tell you how this, like this modification here where I, I cut that spacer down, but I can't see how it would do any harm. That's the main thing. I'm going to modify it and I can't see how it'll do any harm. Uh, the spacer that goes back here you have to be real care careful on because it's supposed to clear a radius because when they grind these crankshafts they can't make a sharp corner. There's always going to be a radius in the corner and that that spacer on one side of it has a radius to take care of that so you want to pay attention to that when you put it back together but uh, but other than that the uh, bearings aren't anything too different it's just you got to be real careful and keep everything real clean but I think it's I don't think I heard anything and I think it's going to run at least another 20 years so that's what I wanted